This tutorial is about how to make multiple images appear when you, when you pull a tab, when you open a, open a flap, multiple things appear. And this comes from David Pelham's marvellous book, A Piece of Cake. Really amazing book this, I think it's great illustration, lovely paper engineering. And on his very first spread, the postman delivers a letter to the mice, and when you open the door, multiple mice appear. I thought it was such a clever mechanism, it would be nice to include that on the pop-up channel. So, here was my first effort. Here's the door, and you pull it open, and the thing appears, and then it's obvious you've got counterfolds here and here, so that should be easy. I spent ages working out all details about this and that, and on the other side, and then I moved on, and I made this one that I was quite pleased with. It seems to work pretty nicely. So, here's the dimensions. Here's the, the base sheet. The door. The bottom of the door is three centimetres above the bottom of the card. And the height of the door is nine centimetres. The width of the door is six centimetres. And then you've got two centimetre flaps cut back, which is going to allow everything when it comes out, it'll enable the card to lift up and allow it to pop out. The door itself, there's a flap on one side, and then the door itself is 8.9 high. So it's not quite the same size as the hole, just so that it'll move easily. And then the actual door is seven wide, plus this flap so that the door actually overlaps the edge. I'll just glue that into place and we put the flap behind, the hinge will be behind the opening. There we go. So the door fits quite nicely, opens quite nicely. Now this is the piece that um, all the moving bits are stuck onto. So this is going to actually stick onto the inside of the door like that. And then when the door is shut, this will slide underneath the other side of the door. And so the, the dimensions of this are five, seven, four. The height of the whole piece is 7.9. I'm leaving a bit more clearance inside the door. So 7.9. These counterfolds, which will carry the moving images, they're the usual. They're two 45 degree angles, and it's three centimeters up the side. And so that will fold in that way. Here you've got two. It's the same thing. It's the center point where they all converge is four centimeters above the base. And again, it's these two pairs of little triangles that fold in as the whole thing is closed. So when it's closed up, it'll be like that. And you can open it like that. And that's what the images will stick onto. So you stick it inside the door. The door is what's going to pull it up. I've drawn a guideline here. This is two centimetres in from the crease. And so this is going to stick against that. Or the other way to do it is you just stick it flush against the outer edge of the door. And in this case, make sure when you glue it that this, these little triangles are forward. You don't want them sticking onto the back of the door. So we'll just fold that in and then you put glue on this piece that's going to stick on the back of the door right up to the edge there. Now we have the piece that actually as this closes this is going to go underneath the opposite side. So now we're going to have the piece that as this opens, pulls the flap open and we'll then guide it back in again. So this is the piece that is attached to the piece with all the images on it. And it's also attached to the back of the base and it actually will go this way around. So this is the piece that is crucial. 
And so the measurements of this piece are, the whole piece is seven centimeters wide, and then it's in three sections that are each 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And it's got a border on each side within the seven, it's 1.5 and 1.5. So this actual window piece is four by one and a half. And then there are extra score lines. So you scored where it joins onto the main bit. There's a score line in the middle and there's two other score lines in the middle of each of those spaces. So you've got a bit that sort of can just move quite comfortably. Now this glues on to the back of this. So I've drawn a guideline where this small piece glues on and it's 0.7 up from the crease. And you take this piece, you fold it like that and that bottom pair of creases go against that. So once it's glued, that whole long piece will be gluing onto the cream card. So I'll just glue that in place so you can see. Right, so we go onto that guideline, 0.7 guideline. Glues on like that. There we are, so you can see it looks like this at this point. Now this piece goes underneath. We close the door, with the door closed, this back, this is all folded concertina wise. So looking at it this way round, with the door closed, this lock comes concertina wise like that, like that. So I'll just put glue on this last bar and then we close it so it can find where it wants to glue down. Now when we open the door, it pulls it out and opens it up. So now you've got these four little triangles that you can stick the images onto. I've added a backing sheet, I've only stuck it on one side, but ideally you'd stick it all the way around and that would just hold the whole base that bit more solid and rigid. And then when it comes to sticking these colored pieces in, I've stuck them onto the little triangles, but also these are just stuck onto the other planes, onto the flat planes, so they jazz it up a bit. And then these, they're not stuck onto any little triangles, these two pieces, they're just floating loose. That Well, they're stuck down, but they're stuck down with the creases, but the other pieces hold them in place as it opens, so they're still giving you 3D effect, although they're not mechanically being forced into a three-dimensional position. This came straight from the, the masterwork of David Pelham. If you look at his mice here, when you open it up, this one is stuck to one of those little triangles, and this one is, but this is just a free-floating flap. This is stuck to one of the little triangles, but this one is just a flap. It's not, not stuck onto anything. It's just the pieces stuck to the triangles are helping those ones move. So that's the door shut. So now I've shown you two different ways of making, getting this effect. This was from tutorial 42, which seems a whole lot simpler. And then this is the most recent one, which has been taken from David Pelham's book. With these added counterfolds, giving you so much scope for adding flair to the design, really. That's it.